Good morning and welcome to the final game of the final round of the group stages of Season 2 of Aegis Esports in Americas. Uh, we're running more pieces line up, which is Steep, Victor, Seraphine, and Echo Zillion uh, versus APG Zone. And while we were already guaranteed for playoffs by this point, uh, we're actually playing know. for something. And uh, we're playing for who gets to be in uh, playoffs with us. Is it either APG Zone or is we're, it Castaways? lineups um if so oh this is what we thought at the time we thought that if we win castaways makes it in and if abg zone wins abg zone makes it makes it in we're actually wrong here um castaways was before this week two away from overtaking abg zone uh but castaways had three games this week and abg zone had two games this week castaways had already won two of their games and abg zone had lost their other game so during this round which is the the group set um they were quote unquote tied but castaways had better tiebreakers and uh at some point had won their group set and once they'd won their group set they were guaranteed in even if abg zone beat us but at the time we didn't know that uh, and i think they played their games maybe yeah, before sure. we played our games just uh, let me know when you're ready and i'll hit the ban button Alright. Are you ready, Spids? I am a little ready, sure. I remain a little ready. I I'm haven't ready. stopped being ready. I'm just waiting for the confirm button to be hit. Let's do this. Good luck, everyone. Good fun, have luck. They should ban Seraphine Victor. If not, we've just won. Yeah. If they don't ban Seraphine Victor, we just win. I guess respectfully, they could ban Deep as well, though. Yeah. That's fair as well. Maybe All they right, think What do we want to start with? Um... It doesn't yeah, matter, fate decide. Okay, bet. Okay, so we should win, oh, guaranteed. Because they, they know what they uh, want to start with. Ban yeah. Yeah. So we just guaranteed right. we win. Impossible to lose. There's no chance that we could ever point. lose against ABG Zone. There's just here. no chance. They have three calling strikes <laughs> and one three sisters. Alright. They have three troll chances. They haven't got any elixir of irons. Only troll chance yeah. for protection. Uh, I like the fallen feline. I like the high note. I like the aftershock. I like. I like. Yeah, I like. I like this whole hand actually. If I'm like being like honest. Okay, thank you. Because I was also no liking the whole hand. Like, now nah, fuck it. Yeah. Full send. Alright, and cat on me. one. But no one drops, obviously. Pause. Getting in that two damage. Mm -hmm. We love to see it. We're currently winning. We are. Wait. Because we're doing more damage. Right? So remember, yeah. we're not just playing for ourselves, we're playing for castaways. This is false. Oh. Wait, so if we win, do if castaways, we win castaways get through? Yep. Yeah, they can, oh. they can tie break at minimum. And if we Because they won. If we don't win, I think ABG goes through directly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cringe. Mm hmm. So, okay. right now, castaways are rooting for us. Yeah. Understandable. They also have a higher tie break, too, I'm pretty sure. So, they just can qualify out, right? Especially if we like 0 2 0 them. <laughs> uh, deciding not to play anything on turn 2, so I assume no Hookmaster. Seems like a reasonable play into removal. Mm. I, I like just pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They should take the pass here, maybe. Like, they're never going to swing the 5-1 into the 2-1, so they just pass. Which is fine. Are we developing Victor? Seems pretty okay to me, but we could also pass. It's either pass or Victor. You assume that they maybe have Calling Strike ready to go. You can see what they do first. You can see if they play Ash or a four drop, and then like what you do is you aftershock it, then you play Victor, and they're tapped out of mana. Like you play Victor, then if they want to kill Victor, they have to call his strike, tapping them out of mana. If they play something that costs four mana, the best play here is combat cook. Obviously, nothing else would make any more sense. You also just don't want to pass as well because they're not actively getting anywhere, and we're just finding bar eventually. Yes, sir. Also, Spitz tried to say something, and I think it was because I hit the pass button. 
Yeah, no, I'm I'm sure his reasons to not pass too, but... You can just open. I think you can, like, do two damage to bring him. True. We could have actually pushed two damage. Yeah. But maybe we can push more damage. Uh, but yeah, open attack was probably just correct. 100%. You could also be baiting them. Like, oh, if I play something, maybe they kill it. What the fuck? They must be mega great. Alright. I like Victor. Yeah. I do too, because like, if they play like Ash or something, they can't protect it with Pearl Camp next turn. Yeah. Do we ever do Victor they have to... Is Victor Seth very good against their bot? It is. I think it uh, provides it's much more value than Victor might if we're if our plan is just to remove all the yeah. shitters. Like if if he tr goes for this, I think we do the death ray onto the five one. We have rummage and high note. It's just really good value. I know I'm not talking much because I don't actually think there's much for me to say and also this is a very long set but I want to talk about this matchup just a little bit and why we've kept our entire hand at the start and why we're playing for Victor's death ray. Uh, one of the big weaknesses that Ash LeBlanc has is that they're going for five strength and often their units have uh, not much HP. So if you think about it like LeBlanc only has two HP, Ash only has three HP, uh, Glory Seeker only has one HP and while they can play um, Avarice and Hearthguard which is a beefy unit as well as buffs the HP um Ash LeBlanc is just historically lost to like PNZ removal which is just like numbers based right you're dealing x amount of damage to a thing and while Victor's death ray is famously like not a particularly strong spell and it can sometimes be good against aggro but that's about it in this matchup spe uh, specifically it's quite good we've also got rummage in hand so we're able to find ourselves into the second and the third part easily um and that's sort of why Victor's Death Ray as well as keeping the Aftershock and the High Note made sense in the Mulligan. Because this is just the way that you're able to deal with uh, Ash LeBlanc as a deck. Because they don't really have much HP. They can play Troll Champ and they can play like uh, Three Sisters into Fury of the North to increase the HP. But that's pretty much about it. And if they're doing that, they're spending a lot of mana to try and uh, protect things typically. Like those those like draws are going to be very helpful. So yeah? I think so. Like Push comes to show we can just discard the second death row if they play like Park Guard and then everything goes out of removal. Alright, and pass. Yes. If only we, we got our two free damage, we could have opened. We would have been at 16. Play Ash. Oh. Uh, okay. President? Or. Aftershock kill the four through. Um, I guess Aftershock's no longer really killing Ash. It does it still kill Blanc. Blanc. I think it is yeah, killing a Blanc. I think I prefer Fan Club. Yeah. Send it. I also think we don't block the four through because if we can block it with Bar. Yeah. yeah. Um. Which option? Wait, Shell gain oh, refills our mana, and we can trade. I like Shell gain. Ooh, um, well. Opinions, others. I haven't got any strong opinions, but I, I just see. I think it's Shell game, yeah. Shell game. Yeah, you just like send in the feline into the four three, and then we have mana for next turn. Are we trading with the show game then? Yes. I, I think so. Because I think we want to make show game put one less mana for bar stuff. Doesn't it refill our mana? Uh, so like you want to? I'm just thinking like getting. It, it's it's sort of much to about nothing. So what I'm trying to say here is that we've got two options. We can shell game now to kill the 4-3. Now, I don't think we need to kill the 4-3 immediately, and some of our PNZ based removal might be better against other things as well as jump blocking bigger things. If we play bar, it means that we can play shell game to refill our spell mana if we only have one mana left in the bank. Um, well, if we do it now, we're saying that it's always going to cost two mana, so we're only going to refill one mana whenever we play shell game. Um, it's sort of your choice. I, I don't actually think it matters all that much. Uh, we can go to have three mana banked for next turn if we do it now. Or we can do bar next turn, play a one mana card, like high note, for example, which would be one mana at that point, and then go back up to three mana with the uh, shell game. Which was the alternative option. Now, we don't have a hand that, like, needs that play. 
no, like we do have a one, we have a, what would end up being a one mana card and then something like an aftershock and a rummage, which would be now afforded uh, if we did the shell game next end of the post of this turn. Um, but that isn't so high power level as to necessitate it being there. When I say it's like much ado about nothing, like it doesn't, it doesn't change that much about the game, but it's something to be, to be thinking about that shell game can cost one less mana and then refill, gain you two mana instead of just gaining you one mana if you want to be more combo -y. I just wanted to keep up the blockers on the field, and like we can block the four three with the bar thing and take the four damage to the yeah. too much while keeping shell games okay. like four. And there are okay. we can use sure. without lots of mana. So just this? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then bar next to it. Yes. Ooh. Bar into bar? Oh my god, wait, this the is kind of funny. He's gonna make our the flash freeze coin strike at mega value. I realize I should be talking when there's day on time. I don't know, like the team sets are always awkward because I don't know when they're just gonna start speaking. But clearly not now. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed these videos reviews. Uh, if you've been watching them, I know at least like three Many people have consistently two, watched them. One. <laughs> um, we played Victor's spell. Which will draw I believe. Yeah. Uh, spell. Did Victor's spell. Passing. Yep. Yeah. I don't expect these videos to have like a wide appeal, but you know, three people seem to watch them regularly and that's enough for me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about just then. Are we ever trying to play around that? They've already played one. They have three. And an early assess I can mean that their hand is maybe a little grim. They're still on Pokemon Master. Okay. I guess because they want unforgiving gold. Yeah. Yeah, I'm forgiving cold's pretty good in the stack. I just um, love that we have a double bar. <laughs> this is like the most stonks thing ever. The most stonks thing ever. Oh. Well, uh, getting killed. Yeah. They, haven't, they must have another one, so this is just to like get that out of the way, then play another one. Yeah, but, but getting that aftershock off there was really good. Disney may have bought Marvel, but this was the most stunks thing ever. That's for sure. Okay, so if we get an action, <laughs> we're almost certainly playing the bar. Yeah. Our whole hand is free. And we can even get three spell mana back and then a rummage if we like desperately yeah. need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, what a cool deck. Yeah. It's kind of funny to be running mid range but without any of the solo ones. Um, like, we're never scared of their gimmicks. They've not even frozen us once. There's a lot of downtime while they're waiting. Decide chilly, what to play. But without the chili. I don't blame them for taking a long time, but it's been 10 minutes and, like, we've not had to think about too, too much. And so I know this video was particularly boring, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just Bing. <laughs> it's just Bing. <laughs> I forgot about that joke. It's just Bing. Bar time. <laughs> well, I think we found our discard targets. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's Empress Divide do? Can't you yeah, just like... Everything vulnerable no, and it's... Summon and summon six sand soldiers. That could be pretty it's... funny. It can be humorous, but a funny we've got bad? two landmarks on the field as well. Like we're not even summoning. Yeah. Many units. Okay. Um. How do you guys feel Thoughts about on Starlet? I kind of like Starlet too. Yeah. I do also like Starlet since we're going to be playing some spells here. Yeah. And if they pull it, we can like kill what's below it. Absolutely. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we're pretty I like, like yeah, doing I like death ray into, into draw. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, but do we do it on the LeBlanc or on something else? I think you'd be pretty unlucky to whiff. We have high note backup at worst case scenario. I think you'd do it on something else. Okay. Um, yeah, is this high note going to be... What's high note at? Oh, yeah, what's high note at? Three, yeah, we probably three, four, maybe don't five. activate it. We might. If we draw a spell, we activate I think... it. Oh, yeah, high roll it. I think we do. Or okay. play safe. High rolling. High roll it or play safe. Thanks for the advice, fake here. High roll it or play safe. I guess <laughs> the high roll would be to shoot the five four right, then you have like high note, yada yada. <laughs> nah, but him choosing two blockers is cringe. That's true. I guess shell game <laughs> can trade with the three three into the four four. You can also positively trade up into the um, yeah, you could. these two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. Yeah. So we're gonna trade positively or we can put the three three into the four three. I think we can do that. We can also if we want we can shell game to kill a three. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Then we can fucking chill. Yeah. I just wanted to highlight just how good the Victor's death ray was. We've managed to kill LeBlanc, uh, not Hawkmaster, um, the the three one, and also I think another sorry the five one was. Um, I think we managed to kill like two five ones and like LeBlanc. That's pretty good value for a guy that we can protect the starlet, but we don't like for sure three hand. draws. But whatever. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's. Anymore. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. Like we've got the mm -hmm. one thing or two things because we've drawn a one. But... Oh, look at our fan club president. She's like big. Yeah. Uh, if we really want to be like majorly heads up, we could kill the. Um... Oh, I have to do the player on assessor. Yeah. But I, um... think, I think it's probably better not to if they've got assessor. Like, I also yeah. think it's better not to. Yeah. Speed line seems good to me. Okay. It's just one or two draws potentially. Whatever. Killing ashes, pog. Right. Spell, like oh, spell. Sarah Queen! Alright, uh, what are we thinking here? President? We could open. Open attack? Open yeah. Attack. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Get the, uh, bait the troll chance. chance. Yeah. Not me. That's for sure. I think, like, draw cards would be really nice from Fan Club. We're looking for, yeah. like, either super removal or like just i have knock a bottles please i hope we get I have so, like super removal That'd being be like nice. ruination or something like that <laughs> which we don't get because it's five cost <laughs> the soft pharaohs yeah six haha <laughs> six nine all right fan club let's yes go. send it in i have knock a bottles we've also got gift of the half blood no, but okay. i think no, i is just strictly I. Better. Now, if there's a way to somehow flip. Yeah, I mean, if we get nice. guiding touch, um, we can definitely like flip Seraphine, but our next turn. So I think. Oh, but we don't want to get it lost to. Yeah, like... calling strike or. There's calling yeah. and there's also like brutal scanner. Yeah. Yeah, we can just draw them. Wait, what's Seraphine? Brutal scanner doesn't kill them. No. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I think we'll just end rounding, right? Yeah, that's right. I think so. I mean, it trades into the 4-4. Four, four, they need their unit development mana. We don't. Ooh. Ooh. Kill some equipment. So Seraphine's a 2-5? Is that what we're saying? Isn't Seraphine... No, 3. She's 3-6. Three, three, six. Six. Three, six. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, we can draw a card. You could just open Quiet think... Us and see what yeah. they do. Yeah, Quiet Us is... I think I do problems. like just... Seems there's good. like Sending. kind of a chance that when seraphine comes down we can flip her well yeah we'll be able to we can flip her she gives us a spell and then we yeah yeah i'm just wondering if like if it's like a fast speed spell though because if it's slow there's like a chance that yeah you might be forced into eyeing for but there's always ways to play around it i'm sure Maybe we just don't play Seraphine until we can guarantee four draws for my 
because this is just not much pressure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, looks good. Mm -hmm. And then we just pass I again, I guess. Damage. Yeah, they should. Alright, like so we're just better. passing again, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I guess the question is, do okay. we play Seraphine? I and hope definitely that we get think a... so. Yeah, I hope that we get a mirror a... image on the flip, right? So we we definitely play Seraphine yeah. here and kill it. Damn, this is slow speed. Maybe we just gotta go for the eye here. Oh, we'd love to see Colony Strike. Do it. Damn it. Okay, so... Um... Do we just do this? And then when he plays the spell on it, we do high note? Thoughts? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. You could also just oh. shield bolt. And then like have high note afterwards. Like, wait, Seraphine seven wait, out of nine. No, because right? it, it gives him another rally. Is the yeah, I, yeah, I get your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we just do this, play shield vault, flip, and then we can. Yeah, sounds it. good. There's like really no way you lose, and he probably does go for it here, hundred percent. Yeah, unless he troll chance to preserve the HP on the tactician. So, we do Well, do we want to kill LeBlanc and the Tactician, or do we want to draw t more? I don't want to draw more. Yeah, draw and explore. I like okay. that. There's a chance they might just go for um, Colony Strike here. They go for calling strike, we're really happy. I mean, if they go for calling strike, maybe you just draw two and then kill both units. Oh. Okay. I don't think there's any urgency for us to spend these zero mana cards. Did we get like Other a spell just... here? Or just like... Yeah, mm -hmm. so we just end round. I think so. Spell? Ooh. Wait, just okay. Play yeah, I think so. What do we get a brutal skirmish? No, because we um, don't have a brutal skirmish weapons. we kill. Unless they've got troll chain. And then that's like their entire hand. Yeah. And we still have double drop. Yeah. Only one of them go back as well. They could have, they could do obliterate with three systems. Oh, hey, he's literally just trading off his fucking LeBlanc there. Yeah. Get the troll chain out too while we're at it. Sick. Why didn't they do it on their thoughts? On their fight? Like, you clearly. Because they want to keep it alive for mirror image. Alright. I mean. Yep, we're happy with this. Right? I think so. Yeah. I'm we're really drawing four anyway. Yeah, we're drawing four. If we draw into like a, uh, a time frame, we're gonna. Watch his hand fill up again. Oh, Seraphine. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> more draw? Yeah, we can do more draw. Why not? I love drawing. We have discard target too, if we want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can just draw fucking... Holy shit, we can draw so much. 
<laughs> oh, we can't um, actually because it's yeah, yeah. Okay, what are we thinking? Quiet us? Yeah, we can quiet us. There's nothing else to quiet us in the deck. Yeah. Oh, it's just weapons, right? Yeah, it's just like second mm -hmm. effect that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Elf's yeah, Hellstone is have... plus. Okay. Do you have lethal? Uh, look, I'm just going to send this and then we can mm -hmm. calculate in a yeah. second. Okay. Shadow Elf's Hellstone is plus yeah. six. Um... Yeah, you have lethal if you box Shadow Isles Telstone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was kind of funny. We, can't we just played Ivan Kikibaras and then we win. Yes. What yeah. <laughs> fun. So as we said, like they needed to ban Seraphine Victor because it was like by nice. by and large our strongest deck. I mean that was an easy win though. It's gonna get tougher from here. Mm -hmm. But that was a pretty easy victory, and you could tell from the Mulligan and from the Victor spell that we're in a really commanding position pretty much the entire game. Wow, um, I really like the how double we bar. Drew, and then we drew some more. Yeah, yeah the Ivan Kabaros hit was kind of nuts. So we definitely drew really well with the double bar and keeping off the shock and high note in the mulligan and having um, Victor's death ray available to us and then having the uh, Ivan Kikibaros and the rummage. Everything sort of just lined up for us and it went really well. Um, there's not much else you can really comment from there. There were like minor plays that uh, were fine, but that's typically how that matchup should be expected to go. And if you ever do that matchup, uh, the on you know, did go like, off. It's possible they've been fine, like the draw. I mean, we probably still would have won though. If we didn't find draw, we would have found another decent card, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, definitely out of my range. But look at the deck list here still. We know what's up. So yeah, we, we go cat on one, crystal on two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could also, like... I mean, you don't... Oh, well, you don't run a zero mana predictor for you, Cal. That makes sense. No. Huh? No, because no. okay. that would be bad. Yeah, it would be bad. Pro prescience. Hey, maybe we find the fucking, like, either the time bomb or the hexite line where we just play 20 that, of them and win. That is what we want to do in this cool. matchup. Yeah. Actively looking... Ooh. Ooh. All the signs are here. That does help it. They haven't got a one drop either. This is two damage guaranteed. Yeah, we'll hopefully. Or well, we have one. You just now we top change. we top deck Zillion here, and then we'll get a cat crystal. Yeah. Oh, that works too. That does work. If they haven't got Hookmaster here, they are in trouble. Okay. We've got a game on our hands. Okay. Okay, I think we take Echo in this spot. Okay. Justifying Echo. Mm -hmm. I like the open attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They never troll chant here, right? <laughs> no. That would be funny as fuck. They'll just get the weapon off and put it on someone more important. Mm -hmm. And we get our damage, which they can't heal. Okay, not too scary. I mean, five fives are a bit sus. Miss <laughs> Pogger's champion. Wait, what, what's so funny is this? He got two drop buttons. Yeah, but that's like standard. Is this not how your Echoes or games go? No, never. Oh. My Echoes or games, uh, I draw drop border two times. Uh. In my opening hand. <laughs> yeah, that's not... And then not... hit double right of passage. <laughs> that's, that's not good. No. That's a misplay. <laughs> misplay. That's a fucking misplay. I love this Brazilian because it just baits the calling strike and reduces their tempo dramatically. <laughs> that can't fuck? be good for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yeti! That's a fucking Yeti! They are real. Oh my god. 
Oh my goodness, it's a time bomb angle for sure. What's it doing? He's at three, but like, it's a time bomb angle. Yeah, we have the right of passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a copy time bomb here, or do you always just want it on hexa? Ideally, um, it's hexa, so right? It, but... It's on the right of passage, not time bomb. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have a tough weapon. That's going to be pretty clutch for them. Yeah, that's like mildly annoying, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um. Let's see. We are forcing them to spend three mana eventually, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's just open time bomb because our attacks aren't really good. Mm hmm. Another echo. Are we doing imperfection with Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see if we get a predict. If we get a predict, then we'll do predict first and see what happens. Passing here. Uh Remember, we're playing for the castaways. Yeah. Ooh. I do like this one. Uh, isn't true, we're not playing for the castaways. The big thing is Poggers. <laughs> he does have a pretty good assessor here as well. There's a lot of downtime, I do apologize. I don't know what else we can do about it. Like, I can ramble, but I don't know how valuable that would be. I'm pretty sure we kind of just would if he doesn't have a culling strike here. Yeah, like, is your thoughts to go Imperfectionist first action on... No, it's to do Cultist and then Imperfectionist, because if we do hit the Crystal, that's way better. Oh, yeah, I see. Noted, noted. Noting down important things. Talk. You can always play for time as well, Pog. <laughs> These guys are slow time, as. Like they're, bombs? They're so indecisive that it's not synced, you know? Looks yeah. good to everyone else. And they definitely wait As long as it looks good to you, it looks good to me. One hexite. Yeah. Sheesh. I think, you can I think it actually is the right of negation. Right of negation. No, because because we're gonna be drawing it, and it lets us flip Zill and have the protection. I don't hate it. Just... It's literally only calling strike though, right? And, and I guess uh, if you think. Protecting Zillion could be key. I agree with you. A hundred percent. Well, that line still... also means we wouldn't imperfectionist, though. Yeah, and we right. don't need predicts. I'm just scared. But look, I think Rider Negation is also good. You know, you don't... You good. could still potentially play I, I the Hex side I think I just like out. the Rider Neg... Yeah, I still think I just like the Rider Negation regardless. Yeah, I don't know if we're locked into Time Bombs yet. Ooh, okay, he's pre-sent it. Smarch. Okay. Um. <sighs> we have a decision here between Echo and Imperfectionist. Now, Echo isn't great in this matchup uh, as a striker unit because they often have freezes. And so they often just trade into Echo without you being able to get the predict. Now Echo can beat this if you've got Absolver, um, but we don't have an Absolver in hand. If Perfectionist allows us to do some sort of like spam uh, time bombs to try and draw into other cards, um, but without having the Chrono Breaks in the deck, 
drawing cards isn't as powerful as it could be if the Chrono Breaks are in the deck. So this is this dilemma between playing Echo right now or playing um, Imperfectionist. An alternative line is to play Echo's Cold Shot as well, as it's another draw card, and parallel conversions can be decent. Especially since Echo is a card isn't as strong in this matchup, although it is a Freeze Lightning Ray. But I think that's just what we're thinking about at the moment, whether we want to do Imperfectionist or we want to do Echo. Yeah, time bomb angles still aren't terrible. I th yeah, I think I if go... that weapon's stuck on the five three, that's not too bad. I think we go for the imperfectionist. I agree with you because we're just assuming Echo is never really gonna get the work done. We eventually play it for the we play rallies. For the rallies, yeah, but that will happen next turn. Ouch. Well, more value for the time bombs. So maybe they troll chain here. Obviously using it on the 2-1 or the 2-3. Oh, there's they go down. Now that comment using it on the 2-1 or the 2-3 is so that Ash's level up is triggered. Okay. Okay. Um... I like open attacking. Me too. Get some damage in. So they, surely they go for an unforgiving cold here. Do you mystic if they unforgiving cold? Or do you hold on to that for face? Okay. Wow. No freezes. I get that. It's possible that he's trying to aim for like an Ash OTK, right? Yeah. We still. So, Bake's comment about going for an Ash OTK makes a lot of sense against our deck. So, we don't actually have a way of dealing with an Ash OTK. If they play Ash and then do like two Unforgiving Golds, we can't Ride of Negation, Ride of Negation, our way out of that. And uh, we don't have a lot of like fast speed interaction, like stuns. We've got Mystic Shot, and that's pretty much it. And so if they've just got four five strength units, uh you know, two five strength units, a six strength unit through Ash and a four strength unit, um, uh, it's quite troubling for us because we just wouldn't have a way of dealing with it without like a burst speed into drop order, but you've already got all our drop orders. Cool at sure. twenty though. Twenty is a good number. But that's what Fake's talking about in terms Nine of an Ash OTK. I wonder if they maybe could have considered um blocking with the five three to get the weapon off. Or if they just value that efficiency trade. I think they also like it being... Uh, like, bad. putting that on Ash is pretty cool. Yeah, but I think they want to try and also keep triggering for um, being rep. Fair. Well, I don't know if that's the issue now. Okay. I like playing Echo into Dime Bomb. Alright, then we hit Rally and then... Any other thoughts? Yeah, At spins? Okay. One. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, my mouth did a little bit of a weird thing. Um, keeping in mind that they could be going for an Ash OTK esque uh, effort at lethal. There's a decent argument to go for the Mystic Shot here on the Ash because Ash will have four HP if they decide to go for the double one for giving gold. Now. It wouldn't be lethal because they wouldn't have enough units on the field, but then they could play Assessor and we don't have any units in hand that would able, that, not Assessor, um, the Rally guy, Incisive Tactician, and that would be able to push on a fair bit of damage. Now, it's not something we need to be necessarily fearful of now, but I think in Echo's Alien versus uh, Ash LeBlanc, there's definitely a chance that this ends up being a line that they go for often, this Unforgiving Cold line. Uh, where they try and OTK us if we're just not attacking very much and they're not too scared of our like, damage based removals. Um, and if that's the case, then there's an argument to try and make sure you mystic shutting Ash when she's still at 3 HP. Any brutal skirmishes in the chat? I wouldn't be surprised to see. Destroy an enemy's equipment and allowing the enemy strike each other. Yeah, he would have to freeze first for that yeah. sense. Otherwise it's just straight griefing. Okay. 
What's like a calling? Calling? Calling would be good for us. We get to kill the ash. True. We have a play. Very true. Oh. Send it, buddy. This is fantastic. Please be calling. Well, actually, be anything. I don't care. As long as Ash can't survive. Calling's better for us. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. And so we do kill Ash here. And this is a beautiful time bomb. Everyone it looks, looks to see good. Time bombs like this. Imagine how salty he would have been if we actually drew the fucking um thing though. The hexite. No, the rally. <laughs> like we play oh, yeah. Echo, draw straight into rally. <laughs> straight rally <laughs> how, gaming. How salty do you think he would have fucking been? I mean, absolutely. They'd be potentially missing playoffs. Turns out it didn't matter. They went Let's looking go past like ticking. I know. As I said, they're just they're just indecisive. They're not they're not synced as I like one. Zillion. Yep. Yeah, dude. Just fucking predict them more time bombs and kill them. Cat crystal comes now, surely. Oh, we do like red passage. The yeah, evidence full send more red passages in. Absolutely. fucking <laughs> That is, like, they're at 8 HP. We're just trying to fucking burn them out at this point. Cool. I do wonder if I'm you're ever supposed to play agree. Echo there first. <clears throat> Watching back on this, I think Echo first might make sense. So the reason not to do Echo first is that we can't hold up Rite of Negation. But there's nothing we're really desiring to Rite of Negate, like, what it's Culling Strike and um, Brutal Skirmish. And I think Echo here allows us to pretend to block. Like, we probably wouldn't because it'd be running into Unforgiving Cult, but there's no reason really not to play Echo here. Um, at least in my mind, I don't know what we're gaining by not playing Echo. There's like mana reasons, maybe, for holding up stuff. But I think Echo may be in a safer play than Zillion, uh, at least first off. Are we playing Echo this turn? Or are we holding yep. on to him? Okay. Nope. But I think we could have done Echo no first. Too. Because it would have made these tricks. We're better. a time bomb deck now. Uh, yep. Like, I would actively trade off. Oh, please. Please swing. Which one do we block? Cook? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, smudge. Smudge. Okay. Um. Freezes he, got... he hasn't played any. He played Ice Veil vale Archer. He has two Flash Freeze, three Unforgiving Cold, three Sisters. Like, the Echo is always getting frozen. The question is, like, do we I want like him to Abel spend first, then? I like this. <clears throat> Did we already kill one Ash earlier in the game? Or is that yes. last game? No, so there's two down, right? One ash. No, 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 there's one Ash down. Just the one. Yeah. Uh, board space is an issue, hey? A little bit. We can just replace this. Could be. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, it's, it's no, it's no, like... With the, with we, the we, right we, of passage, it's a bit it. awkward. We just yeah. is wasting. Hope you're not bored at the downtime. We're trying to swing with Echo here when they let us so that we've got board space if we draw into another right of message. Absolver? We probably should have opened. Uh, I like swinging Echo and only Echo. I think we should have opened. Instead of playing Time Bomb or right of message, I think we could have opened. And the logic there is that they don't know that we're trying to go for a second right of message line. Um, and so they're not planning on killing Echo here. Okay. Because what they end up doing is they end up freezing Echo without blocking Echo so that we don't have the yeah, block space. Sense. 
It's like, um, maybe they freeze it but don't block it. Wouldn't that be smart? <laughs> no, that would be wrong still. Wait, I just realized we, um, we drew the fucking, uh, that's so cool that we drew this time bomb. Yeah, we got really lucky that we drew the real time bomb. If we had read a passage here, this would have been really awful for us. Specifically. What the fuck? Okay, next turn looking a bit dicey. But Hexite Crystal Clue would help us. So if you if you remember a few times ago, I said two five strength units and an extra four strength unit. Yeah, we want to like yeah. increase our chances of having something that deals two damage to the board at fast speed. Because I assume that it's gonna try. They're gonna they're gonna unforgiving cold flash freeze fucking yada yada everything. They're going to try and kill us. They have enough mana to play a unit as well, but we get actions, which is scary I mean, for them. If they freeze their entire board, this is lethal. Because Ash gets one plus one. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um, this is fucked. They've been setting this up all game. So they would need to have... They've got it. They've got it for sure. Yeah. Nearly. Oh, it is. They've got one more. <gasps> We're fine. Oh my god. Gonna Wait, they're going to rally? Yeah, they're they're going to rally. We've got a draw. It just sucks that our deck is mostly. Oh no, because I guess it's focused. What we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, focus speed to affinity. This is going to be the most insane line ever. Oh, they could... Th what? Oh, white hexite still? We can get it before the attack. Hexite works because we can block. block. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hexite, Hexite, Hexite. Fuck. Right, shit. Oh, I just took a shit. I don't know well why. From them. I don't know why Fake said that. That was really well played by the enemy gamers. They definitely know what their out was in this matchup. Not blocking the Echo was pretty smart to play around Rite of Passage, and I think they just played that really uh, consistently well and strongly. Um, so I'd like to give like a good job to ABG Zone by how they played in that matchup. Now Echo Zillion should, should be struggling against Aphelia decks purely just because the Echo can often uh, be difficult um, because of the Flash Freeze effects. But not finding a Hexite Crystal despite predicting uh, an uncountable AK, I don't know, like six times. Um, and then drawing like a lot of our deck was pretty unfortunate. Um, but not like unheard of, right? Like this happens uh, rather regularly. I thought that was well played by the enemy gamers. And um, yeah, we got well one played. more game left, which is so what's uh, our Echo final Zillion match? versus. Echo Zillion versus. Thank you, Past me. Fuck. I yeah. mean, honestly, I think this one might be a bit easier. Than the ash. But they played really well. They knew that they're out as that sort of free. We played that so there. clean, G. Oh, so they're more like straight up Swain Twist of Fate, not aggro. Yeah. So that might be a bit more problematic for us, but I believe in us as a team. I like this. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Why do we need this? Uh, do they don't run shoot. Up uh, Not impactful, it's... but taking chip damage unnecessarily, I can, I, yeah. I imagine. I imagine it's not the greatest. I like, I generally always keep a mystic against decks which have good aggro turns. Okay, I would have tried it. Does. Does. I've got an option to keep mystic or not. Their version of Swain in Buildwater isn't as aggressive as other versions of Swain in Buildwater. And while I can see the argument of using mystic against, uh, to protect ourselves, uh, because we don't have any, like, healing. Um, in my opinion, Mystic Shot isn't particularly strong when we could just be developing something like a Chronomancer. And we've got the predict so that we'll be able to find the Chronomancer or the Mystic Shot if that ends up being our best option. Uh, there are reasons to keep Mystic Shot because it's not, say, voices and it's not 
a useless rite of passage or um, like a drop border or something. So just having the assurance is like decent. But I personally wouldn't keep Mystic Shot there, but I see why they are arguing to keep Mystic Shot there. I'd respect like the chip damage that comes from this deck. Yes. There is very much a need to. That way we can, you know, not lose the Leviathans and Reptile Rex later. But the right of Ussi will clutch us up. Okay. Speaking of, I think I do like it given we've already got some protects here. Yeah. We just have it ready to go for when we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, here comes House Spider. Sheesh! <laughs> Ooh. No idol, no house spider, not even a croaker. I guess I'd prefer the draw. Open? Yeah, we're opening. I'm just deciding. Mm -hmm. okay, so we will not time trick now. So we can time trick now because if we get a drop order, it's plus one damage. And plus one damage can definitely matter when a lot of our ways of getting lethal are going to be through time bombs and excite crystal. Um, but I think. In general, it's better to do it after Zillion's already shuffled the time bombs in, so we might be doing it in like a few turns' time. But there's a reason it's definitely Zillion. to do time trick right now. There is arguments to get more drop borders. Yeah, because I like... think we want to get the chance of time bombs. Yeah. Any uh, sentry flocks here? Because we'd love to see it. I like scrying sands. Sure. Okay. Scrying sands is the best card in this deck. Swain's a bit annoying. Main deckable card in the deck. Swain is annoying. So one make it rain down. Mm -hmm. I have one blade's edge. The, the, their amount of pings is actually quite limited. So they've got triple heavy metal, triple make it rain, double death's hand, one blade's edge as their pings. Mm -hmm. You're just doing a great one. Scorched earth. Nice. That's a lot of mana going to waste. They really want to be trying to flip this Swain ASAP. I imagine it just could be an eye of Nokoboros then. There's banking into eye and drawing cards. Time trick. Time bomb. Time bomb. Mm -hmm. Playing time bomb. Playing time bomb. Scorched Earth on time bomb. Pull them out if you did. Lameo. Idol was played off the top. That it was. I suspect no zap spray fin. Or no, it does make sense just to. We chronomancering. Sure. These all seem pretty mid, but voice of the risen is something considered, I guess. Whether or not it's taken. Probably like Voice of the Risen the most. It's a block of a Swain. I mean, Echo is a block of a Swain. Oh, yeah, Echo is a block of a Swain. Pog Champ. Bye, Zillion. I love this time bomb interaction with the fucking idol. This one? Yeah. This time bomb interaction with the idol. But, um, he gets yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Oh. Uh, not next then. <laughs> Okay, uh, I like Echo. We need you're asking, to you're asking them to have another important removal source here. I like it. Yeah, but we need and to play him at some point. It's also not playing Swain if they want to deal with Echo. Unless it's Blade's Edge Flock. Blade's Edge Flock. Oh, Blade's Edge Flock, and then play Swain.
passing. At this point, just send a flock of Blade's oh, Edge. Damn. Blade. Okay. okay, they haven't got... I think if they had flock, I sh I'm sure they should play it there. Yeah. Because sure they need to hold on to their pings. They need to hold on to their pings. Okay, Swain is um, leveled, right? We also right? need to be aware of time, so I'm going to be a bit faster. More pieces remembering uh, when we were playing with any and with the uh, Elysian. Make it rain. Someone, someone also watched the clock for us. Yeah, we're just behind by about eight seconds. They didn't swing there, so that's pretty good for us. Leviathan comes down this turn though. That's not going to feel great at all. He doesn't have levy. Is it possible? Is it possible that they just would wait to play it? I don't think so. Also, these are not it. I mean, Desert Door can kind of kill Swain. We swing. Like, we put this card in his blocks favorable. The only reason that's Whisper Sith Yikes. So, there's a few things that's interesting from here on out, and it's regarding how to get the most value out of our chrono breaks that are in our deck somewhere. If we swing here, and so one good, sorry, one good thing about swinging here is that we can get value out of our scrying sands without doubling up on the predicts, right? Like we, what we predicted from uh, Broccoli wasn't particularly powerful. And so we, wanna, we want to play scrying sands this turn. If we want to play scrying sands this turn, we should attack to make sure that the scrying sands gets trade based value. But what we don't want is to make our chrono breaks really bad. Now, because two of our units are going to get stunned every single turn, chrono breaks are starting to get less and less value as time goes on. And we're in this really interesting position where we're trying to make sure that we can get enough value from chrono breaks for them to be a, a winning line, but not permit them to be beating us if we don't get the chrono breaks in time. And it puts us in a really awkward position. Now, how we uh, deal with that is complex, and I think what we end up doing is probably wrong, but it's difficult to work out exactly what is right. And I hope you keep this in mind when we go over the next few turns, um, because I think they're really complicated, and I don't think we make the best plays, but they're difficult to determine what would be the best play. Mm. My like issue is that we want to have chrono break, but like, I also kind of want to play scrying yeah. sense this turn. I think we do have to swing here. I think it's the full swing. But uh, uh if they block and we have block, scrying sense, like scrying they won't have a block with levy. Okay. Yeah. If they block with levy, we're like. Um... If our predicts weren't good, I don't think we would block with, but we really need a predict. Yes, we do. Okay, that's the same. Oh, ah. Uh. Chrono break doesn't do a lot. 
And that's what's awkward. Doesn't... Break doesn't actually accomplish anything for us anymore. Unless we play Mystic and the other Scrying Sands right there. Scrying Sands, maybe? Mm -hmm. Which is fine, so but it's not great. You Sorry. can go for the... You can go for the double scrying into Mystic so that we only lose one of our units, the one that goes into Leviathan, and when they attack, they do the whole stun thing, then we Chrono Break. Um, but they can just, like, if you're thinking about it next turn, they can just flock our, um, our Voice of the Risen, and then all our units are only dealing two damage, we're not getting that much value off the Chrono Breaks. And because we're not reviving an Echo, we're not really getting any draw from our Chrono Break, so it's still a low value play. Um, so Chrono Break isn't particularly powerful because of how the Leviathan works with the Voice of the Risen and the fact that it's flockable after we Chrono Break. Now we can play Rite of Negation and that might be our best play that we're guaranteeing our Rite of Negation for the flock. But it's not a particularly powerful play and it's got three cards in hand and flocking a Swain's, oh sorry, Rite of Negating a Swain's Ravenous Flock just doesn't feel powerful. Simultaneously, what else are we doing with our hand and our board? Our position isn't phenomenal as it stands. And it might end up being the case that that position, where we Mystic and we Scrying Sands right now to try and get into another Chrono Break, or even just a Mystic, and trying to play for this sort of Chrono Break awkward out, where we revive a cat and we um, try and push like minor amounts of physical, physical damage, would have been our only way out. The other ways of getting out of this situation are through draw cards and like pogging off with an Echo. So we can do it through stuff like... Uh, um, Rite of Passage and Time Bombs into some other stuff, but it's not particularly reliable and you're starting to weigh up on the options of what's more reliable. Trying to spend all our cards over the next two turns with like a really awkward Chrono Break, um, if we even predict into a second Chrono Break, or trying to stall out the game to get into an Echo or a Time Bomb uh, Cycler or something. Um, yeah, it can be difficult um, to decide that sort of thing. On the twist of fate, right? I think so, yeah. Let's take Chrono Break now. Yeah. That's an argument not to take Chrono Break then. We maybe should have mystic the 3 1. I think mysticking the 3 1 was the best play there, and I, I'm sad that we didn't do it. I bet it stuns our fucking board. Yeah. I really wish we had. Maybe we can get there with Chrono, we'll see. The Chronoist, the croniest of Chrono breaks. Like this, we just save health. Any other thoughts? I mean, the other I don't see. time bomb plus mystic, but um, I don't think that's what we can play for. Yeah. So, in this position, we've got a few lines. Um, we're probably playing Chrono Break here to maintain some presence of board, because if we just don't draw well, we'll get stunned out and die. Um, one thing I wanted to do, and I don't know if I suggested it or not, was to Mystic Shot our own 5-4 when it becomes a 5-1 and then do Chrono Break thereafter or even put both of these things on the stack. Now while they can just flop, and so like the Mystic Shot isn't particularly valuable, what it does mean is that the unit isn't stunned anymore, and that means we can attack with it and try and put in some damage in nonetheless. And I think, I don't remember if I suggest this, but that might have been our best line, especially since we can also hold up Rite of Negation. And then we have to Chrono Break now. Almost certainly. We have to mystic around five four. Five four. I think we're just like trying to rely on right to protect it. I don't know though. Maybe. Yeah, because I feel like we're probably gonna need this for burn. Okay. We're gonna have to hopefully top deck a time bomb or something. Yeah. Yeah. So Mobius really likes the idea of keeping that mystic shot for burn. I am not sold that it's had a large necessity, we're at most pushing three damage here, or four. We're at most pushing three or four damage if they don't, yeah. And if they don't block, I think that's like a little bit insane, considering we are threatening burn. Um, but if we miss a shot our own unit, we can at least threaten a lot more, albeit we still need to find a little bit of burn. Uh, I think it's, I think it's a difficult position, but uh, I don't know. 
The Queen Music should our own unit, we're also forcing them to block if they're not dying to burn, and that's also just as powerful, right? But if we miss six shot our own unit, we've literally only got one card in hand and it's right of negation, and that's an awful feeling to be in. So I think it's close. I would have probably missed six shot my own unit in this position, but it's not the easiest decision to make in the wild. I mean, we just have to play to our outs, right? I'm done with my turn. Oh, that's so bad. So this is a reason not to be six shot um, unit, for example. Well, but now we can't really swing. It might have been the best play anyway. Did we find a time for Cooper? Sorry? Did we find a time for Cooper to check? That's the main thing. Yeah, I think we pass here. Mm -hmm. So that is another reason not to play Chrono Break that turn. We can get two voices if we really want. Yay! It doesn't really matter too much. It's also a reason not to have attacked a few turns ago. Um, and to have maintained our board even more so that when we Chrono Break, either this turn or last turn, uh, our board is still quite large. Um, I still would have died to the entire Swain Swain. Um, but there's an argument not to have attacked that turn that we did attack to try and get Scrying Sands value. Because we might have been wanting to play for Chrono Break value. Now we know what we were predicting into and it wasn't a Chrono Break at the time. But we could have not attacked and just done the predict. And then if we got Chrono Break, then we would have been able to pass and then do the Chrono Break and then try and swing in for damage. And maybe we get a Chrono Break this turn again and then something else happens. Right? We get to attack and then we get to revive our board. It's difficult, and playing into trying to get double chrono breaks, a difficult position to be in when at two turns ago, I only thought whether we need to get value out of this growing sense to make sure that our predict isn't wasted. Um, I think if you took a step back and just analyzed these three turns, there's definitely different lines you can take. So the board looks different every single time you're in these three turns. And while their board looks pretty much the same the entire time, the way that the board feels definitely changes throughout. And I think trying to work out what to do with that feeling and um, what our best outs are in those given situations is something that we can definitely attempt to play around, I think, a bit more. That's not it. Um, are we dead if we pass? You have time trick top deck into either Hexite, Mystic, or. What not? I want them to block our thing so they can try and make threaten our open. And then we attack and then we move forward with the chrono and then we can stop them off. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable line. If not, we just aggressively say we have Hexite. Holy <laughs> fuck. Wait, we're just dead, right? Um. Oh, he's got another Swain in hand. Yeah, we're doomed. Yeah. Wait, if we take four, Hexite. Okay, this could be really good for us if they block exactly like this. Rallying? I don't see any issue with it. Another Hexite Crystal. Yeah, I think the enemy top deck is really... What? What the fuck I is mean, this? I stunning for the vengeance. How much damage are we at? We'd be dead if we send off this mystic. The only way we have an out here is Hexite Crystal. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, it. Oh well. Sorry, Castaways. ABG Zones is the better team than us. Feels bad, man. I'm really sad we lost the Ash game. Yeah. So, 
that was us fighting ABG Zone. Um, I think we could have played better in those last few turns, but it's 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 such a tough fucking position. Sorry for the sorry for the uh, non-English. Um, but we tried our best, and their decks were definitely anti-Echo Um, I think that we did pretty well considering it uh, what we had in our hand. Um, and in the end, Castaway still made it, and it was guaranteed in the end. And my teammates felt bad because they really wanted uh, Castaways to make it, and we thought ABG Zone had made it. I'm a big fan of both of the teams. Um, I'm a big fan of Walkabout, and I'm also uh, a big fan of like Ace and uh, his teammates. Um, but I think we did our best. Um, and that's it for the group stages of, um, of Aegis. So we've got the playoffs coming up in like two weeks or so. And if we lose one of those sets there, we're just out of the playoffs. Um, and so in future, I will be putting those up here. Um, and the world's video should come sometime later this week. Um, I just need to put more effort into it. Um, you can stop watching now. This is just going to be me talking about the plans for the YouTube thing. Um, I've always wanted to try doing something like this. And uh, the point of putting these up now, as opposed to just like privating them and not putting any effort into them, was that I wanted to practice a lot of the skills that were necessary for the for trying to do a YouTube thing. So that's not just like talking and recording, but also um, like back end YouTube stuff, fiddling around with all the stuff that YouTube provides you as a creator um visually getting used to how to deal with like uh the recording systems and what things i can get away with and what sort of settings i need to be thinking about um one thing that i haven't stepped my toes into at all is editing i did a bit of editing in high school um with premiere pro and i've just recently discovered that my uni offers me uh the adobe products for like a fifth of their price so i've bought that and um, i'm just waiting to get like approved um from the university um, and so I want to start dabbling with doing like minor bits of editing, getting back into being used with Premiere Pro and going through that whole system. And so that's my hope for the world video that I can start. It's not going to be some sort of like highly edited product. I've got like a Google slides that I'm going to be using. Um, but I just want to get used to the sort of these systems and getting used to the things that I want to be practicing and getting used to. Um, and that's sort of why I've been uploading these publicly uh, to begin with. Um. Historically, I've found that I often try and do things perfectly the first time, and that's such a wall to cross that nothing ends up ever happening. So this happens with like cooking, with dieting, with um, exercising, with trying to enjoy myself in video games, uh, enrolling for classes, like anything that has bureaucratic systems or even just non-bureaucratic systems, just like systems that have things that you could be wary of. I have an issue where I try and be wary of all, everything when that's just like functionally not plausible. And so I'm deliberately taking these in like really slow baby steps um, so that when I get to that uh, end goal that like uh, has that sort of perfectionist uh, outcome that I've gone through like a step-by-step -step process of getting used to these things uh, one by one as opposed to trying to do it all at once, which is possible but uh, improbable for uh, a brain like mine. Thank you for watching the Aegis sets. Uh, I know like three people have watched all of them. I think it's like any more fake and like my partner <laughs> have watched like all of them. Um, and so thank you for those that have uh, watched. Um, and yeah, goodbye. Like and subscribe.